We are opening door number 13 on this year's Brewers Advent Calendar. And when I opened my calendar this morning and saw this beer, I was so happy to introduce you tonight to this beer and this brewery. Which beer it is, which brewery, and where it is, we talk about this in six seconds. And welcome to another edition of Proby TV following this year's Brewers Advent Calendar. And uh, when I today opened my brewing advent calendar and took out this beer, I was so happy to see this can inside because um, I love this beer, to be really, really honest. And uh, normally this beer is not available in cans, but for the Brewers Advent Calendar, uh, Kalea took all the effort to get you this beer and they took it into cans, which is um, not uh, too fancy can design, to be uh, honest, but um, the inner... Uh, the content of the can, of course, uh, matters in the end. Um, as I said, this beer is not available in cans normally. It's um, served in uh, bottles because it's a wheat beer. It's the Grandauer Weissbier and it's coming from Wildbräu Grafing. Um, and uh, Grafing is a little town, to be honest, um, in the east of Munich. So it's a, let's say, 30, 45 minutes drive from Munich city center to uh, this brewery, but it's worth traveling there. Uh, they have a really, really big range of beers. Um, they have a long heritage of uh, brewing tradition. They have a very young owner of this brewery who took the beer, um, uh, took the brewery from his father who passed too early. And uh, the brewmaster is a pretty long friend of mine. Uh, we met on different festivals already, but I never had the chance to visit his brewery, but I did, uh, I think it was three years ago, and I was overwhelmed from the um, welcoming environment and the passion they put into beer. And I'm pretty sure you will taste this in this beer. It's a Hefeweizen and uh, it comes at 5.1% ABV, 12.2 um, great degree plateau on the gravity scale and uh, has a, a bitterness of 10 IBU, so quite low on the bitterness. Um, yeah. That's enough talking for now. Let's dive into this one and pour this beer. And I'm well known for being one of the worst uh, vice beer pourer around Europe, but I try my very best. So please be sure to leave some of the beer in the can and try to get the yeast out of it by shaking the can there's a uh, lots of talk. Oh, I love this beer. I love this smell already. Oh, I can tell you. Um, yeah, um, get the get the yeast out to get the full flavor like I did. Um, you're gonna love it. And it's a pretty um, deep golden orange color. A nice white foam on top. Um, pretty good lacing on the glass. Lots of carbonation going on in this wheat beer glass. So please use a wheat beer glass if you have one at hand. Um, let's check the aroma. Yeah, some yeastiness and there's so much fruit in there. It's banana, it's a little bit of uh, peach, some spiciness as well. Not too much clove. Oh, I love this beer. I can't tell you, it's one of my favorite ones. You pretty much can see that. Yeah, cheers. And this is what I like about this beer. The first impression is oh, you get something for your money. It's not one of these super light, uh, easy drinking wheat beers that are on the market right now. You get a nice full mouth feel. Um, it's uh, grainy. You got some kind of uh, malty sweetness with it. it. Says, of course, the wheat in there, some yeast, some banana. Now we have some citrusy as well, some clove in the taste, um, some spiciness in the background, a little bit of caramel. And um, yeah, it's a very, very, um, for me, it's easy drinking. Um, it's not um, light as a lager beer, but, but still for wheat beer, it's very, very easy drinking. It's really going down fast. Very well balanced. And I'm so happy to share this beer, to be honest. 
uh, because it's sometimes it's hard for friends uh, that live in the U.S. when I travel there and I try to bring my favorite beers, uh, especially wheat beers, uh, which I'm really into uh, and brought me into beer, um, to bring them to the U.S. because they're all sold in, in bottles. And if you're air traveling, it's a pain in the ass to have um, shitloads of glass with you. So I'm really happy that this year uh, Beer Tasting Club took the effort to put this beer uh, in a can for you and ship it uh, to you. So um, you can really feel honored uh, today. And um, uh, yeah, um, let's talk about the beer again. It's a medium bodied beer, of course. rather shy, silky carbonation, creamy texture on this beer. And um, in the aftertaste, it's getting a little bit, um, uh, feeling a little bit of uh, acidity, um, some spiciness in there, but still uh, lots of wheat, um, some uh, caramel uh, going on and also some banana. So it's a proper Weiss beer, I would say. Um, it's maybe uh, not uh, the, the best Weiss beer in the world, but it's a really, really rock solid Weiss beer uh, that you're getting today from Bavaria. It's one of my top three Weiss beers uh, on my personal uh, favorites. So enjoy this beer. And if I would have to give this beer a rating for the Grandauer Weiss beer uh, coming from Wildbräu Grandauer Grafing, which is um, a little bit east of Munich, I would rate this beer with four out of five for the Grandauer Hefeweizen from Wildbräu Grandauer Grafing in Germany, Bavaria. That's it for now. Um, if you enjoyed my uh, review, please leave your comments in the comments box. If you agree with me, please leave your comments as well. If you do not agree with me and uh, if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, please do so by pushing the button and then see you tomorrow with the next beer from this year's Brewers Advent Calendar. That's it for now. See you tomorrow. Cheers and bye bye.